Hi, how's everybody doing? This is Rami Z. I um, wanted to do a quick uh, video. I wasn't in a live trade. I actually just got out not too long ago. But this was on my watch list from last night, you guys. CATB. And as soon as it opened, we see it took a little dip. And when, when I when I seen the little dip, I actually bought it. Because I always, I'm, I love buying dips. Um, so as soon as I hit, I think, 471, I was watching it. Just to, you know, watch minute by minute. It, and I seen a lot of support in this area. So I actually did buy around 475. And I held on it for like, uh, like maybe a few minutes, not too long. And I got rid of it at 489 when I seen the candle turning red. And even though it, it did still go up, but I just like to lock in profits, you guys. This is why I always say um, just trade the first 30, 35 minutes of the day. Um, as you see, it's right back down to 473 again. This is why I like to trade only the first 30, 35 minutes. It's like mostly the the most volatile time in the market. Um, I don't like to get in right away because I don't like morning panics, but... I just wait for a minute or two to see what happens and then you know not to chase but if it dips and it, and it shows support I will buy um, another another trade I was in this morning was DRYS and the reason I got in this trade was um, I was up pre-market and I seen it have a lot of support in the dollar area so if we take it back if we look at um, let's say a two week chart no, we need something more than two weeks, guys. You can see it's on a downtrend, which I never really buy downtrend stocks. But at the same time, I've seen all the way from August till now, it's basically the lowest it's ever been. Is actually 92 cents, but around the dollar area, it's never really went under the down dollar area. And at the same time, it's a former spiker. I know they did a reverse stock split or whatever. But you know, um, I, I got into it because basically I, I got into it at a dollar and one today. So I put in my order at 101, and um, <clears throat> today I put in my order in at 101, you guys. Um, and this was I put it in actually pre-market because of the news that acquired the first largest it was the first um ship big ship from hyundai like with a five i'm not sure if it was a contract but it says drive ships acquires its first large uh shipping a ship basically for their company and um i don't know if that's really big news but i didn't trust the news too much but i seen the volume coming in after it i uh now like this thing might have a you know a little morning spike and it says um, dry ships has acquired one of the very large gas carriers currently under construction. So I actually I actually ha actually had a few different types of news. So dry ships acquires the very large gas carrier with a five time charter attached to oil. So they got a new ship from Hyundai or, or whatever. But uh, I thought it would be okay in use to move the stock because the stock has a low flow. I think it's a million float. I looked at the volume, it should outnumber the float. I always look for low floaters, you guys, because these are the ones that could spike the most. If a stock's more than a $10 million float, or I mean a $10 million float, I basically, I won't really trade it. I like to stay safe. I know some people think those are junk companies, but I actually like them. Because there is some volatility. Like I was saying, this morning I got in here at 101, and actually sold at 108. It's, it's only a $0.07 cents a share profit. But at the same time, I had um, pretty sure a thousand shares. I made like sixty dollars, seventy dollars, something like that. And Alpha Drives. Let me look. Off uh, Alpha Drives, I made sixty dollars, and off ESEA, I made one hundred and fifteen dollars. Let's look at ESEA. Yes, I'm pretty sure I bought it around like 160, 170, and got rid of it around 180. And I made 115 dollars, so I made 175 dollars for the day, which is not too much, you guys. But it's better than having a job. It's better than going to work for 35 minutes of work, 175 dollars. It's pretty good. I'm actually done for the day. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys, like when I first started with trading a couple years ago, and 
I really was into fundamentals a lot, like the companies, how, the earnings per share, how much debt they have, how much is their revenue, how much the analysts, what are the analysts saying about them. But you know, basically, I learned over time and time and time again, short time trading, which short time trading, like the fundamentals don't really matter. Like I really look at the price action and the technicals. Like I suggest to any trader, if, if you do want to get into trading or if you do trade or any newbies that do look at trade, yeah, it's good to know the fundamentals. Like I know what the company does. I know it's a shipping company. I always know their flow. I always look at the volume, make sure the volume's more than a million. That's the first thing I do on my scanner every day is put volume more than a million. I just like to have that volume. And then um, also, like I said earlier, uh, low floats are awesome for me and I like low floats but it's it's what you like but I actually recommend um, just buying low floats like you know do your own due diligence don't just buy any stock or anything like else like you have to do your due diligence and look at charts but to me I think the fundamentals matter the most I think that I mean the least I'm sorry the charts matter the most um, uh, these companies are basically all I hate to say about garbage companies you know like if we look let's take a look back let's just look at a um, hundred day chart you see like it's nothing happening with the stock there's nothing in the stock there's nothing at the stock nothing in the stock if you see the volume down here there's no volume so I would never trade this I would never trade that you know this is sideways action but when we see the stock start moving and the price action start moving look at the volume green volumes means a lot of buyers you guys so green volume on a low flow stock it'll, you know if, if the, on this day the stock traded 14 14 million shares I think this is a um, 2 million float stock or I'm not sure but it's a low flow I'm pretty sure and um, 14 million shares traded made the stock move basically from a dollar fifty till like five six dollars in a few days but then you know as always it comes right back gave it all right back and we came back to being low again you guys so this is the time where you want to be in the stock there's there's buying opportunities there's short selling opportunities but at the same time don't just be in a stock when you see this oh always have, have a lot of volume also you don't want to be in a stock and be the you know not that much volume it'll be hard for you to get out it'll be hard to execute I remember being stuck in a stock when I when I was sub zero stocks. That's why I kind of stopped playing those when I was first doing this. I was being st I was stuck for a few days in a stock. I I couldn't execute my order. So be extra careful, guys. And I'm always cut losses quickly um, or intelligently. If just if if the channels if the stocks in a channel and I'm like let's say for between this and this, you know I might give it a little more time you know because for the past few days or a month or whatever it's been in the same channel but like I say you guys it's always better to check out the charts than the fundamentals it's it, I love I love the charts the fundamentals are okay but if you could see this stock fell off the cliff right here this is a yearly chart so it's been doing nothing basically since that but then we had a little volatility right here this is a two-year chart a three-month chart like I said earlier like this is all the volatility and then you see as the volume decreases the price action decreases which doesn't happen all the time but don't use it as a guarantee or anything like that but use it as a guide you guys level two always watch level two I always say that don't let level two make make you make your ultimate decisions but use this as a guide also to me my decision is the price action and the level two influences me to see if there's a lot of wallet sellers or a lot of wallet buyers. Watch the times and sales. Um, when I see a lot of green or red or in, in between, green means it took place off the ask, red means it took place off the bid. I like to, to go off the ask, it shows me the stock is in, in demand. So you guys got to know when the, when it comes down to us, it's all about supply and demand the buyers and the and the sellers and the actual transactions that take place like right now we have a um, bidders at 572 570 you know 800 800 usually means add two zeros to it you guys so in most platforms like we have um the, the sellers at uh, 574 we have buyer, bidders at 572 
this is for uh, a different stock this is not um, this is not uh, let's go to ESEA so we can look at the same stock for this stock like we have a hundred eighty two a dollar eighty two a uh, hundred size so that might mean a hundred ten thousand then we have uh, one eighty somebody bidding with two thousand um, one eighty three with for fifteen hundred you know most platforms use uh, extra two zeros in front of it, you guys so put extra two zeros or whatever um, but just use it as a guide don't use it as oh, okay we have, oh my god like sometimes I want to see if we could get through them sellers sometimes I'll see let's say for example there's a lot of sellers at 180 but the stock gets through them then we hit to 181 it, it's it helps you know it actually helps if we look at um, a chart from right now we could see the, the the price action the ticket price is at 180 we have bidders at 182 and we have askers at 183 so we have to meet in the middle somewhere because I want to buy the stock for 182 but this guy selling the stock for 183 so if so basically my order just went through at 182 and if you look at the times and sales it's at 182 so that means it went off, off the S so somebody sold me their shares for um, $1.82 so if we see red, that means it went off the bid. Like somebody, like uh, like somebody t bought it off the bid or it went off on the bid price. But at the same time, you guys, just keep it simple. Like you don't want to get too much into it. Just look at the price action, level two times and sales. And sometimes I'll have the news out pre market or during the day. You know, I'm usually done in an hour. So. If you guys have any questions just get at me i hope this video helped a little bit um thank you guys for watching have a great day have a great weekend thanks